Okay, so first thing to do is turn it on, go to E-Band. That gets us into this whole list of several hundred songs. Mm -hmm. And remember, use the dial to switch the songs. So choose whatever style you want. And you know, you have a couple of options to choose songs by, by clicking on that song section. You can choose by rhythm, by artist, and by album, and that sort of thing. And just click exit when you want to get out of any menu. Look for the key that the song says. So this is G minor. Remember, if you see a minor, it's always pointer finger. Yeah, whenever it's minor, it's pointer finger. Um, the other option is to put your pinky on it. So one of those two options will always work for the key. Switch between the, the songs that you want. You, you've got a, you know, a ton of these. You can just kind of use the dial to scroll through quickly. You know, find the sections of, you know, there's a ton of pop stuff there. There's a whole bunch of, you know, other different, there's like blues and ballads and things like that. Funky stuff. And um, with each song, you're going to get a different guitar setting. So for, like, I'm on rock ballad, bass drums, key of A minor, that's going to give me a different guitar setting. The guitar sound is going to be different for it. It's a different guitar program. Um, so when you play it, you're going to see the sound for that is set for that. So really quick. Okay. And of course, if you want to change keys, you can go to this speed thing, and that'll change how fast, whoops, you can change how fast you can play it. So I'm using the left button over here to switch back and forth between these menu options. And the speed, if you put it on speed, you can dial the speed up and down. Cool? Get it going faster. So whatever speed you want it. And then you can also use the button over here and you can change the pitch. So if you want to move that down a fret or two, or four, a fret up or two, you can play it in whatever key you want. Cool? There are so many songs in here that you probably don't even really need to worry too much about changing keys. But it's nice, like, if you want to try working on, you know, playing it down here, for example, and then jumping up to the octave. Remember how we went up to the double, yeah. above the double dot? So if you're on, you know, if your pinky's, say, for example, on five down here, then you could jump up to the five above the double dots. Cool? Mm -hmm. Remember that the second dot here is the same as the second dot down there. Cool? Yeah. Um, okay, so um, you can adjust not just the speed, but the key, exit out when you're done. And it's nice, like you have something maybe that's an E. You know, an E, you're, you only have the open position and the 12th fret. Well, if you're in maybe, you know, in the key of F sharp minor, then you can go to the second fret and go all the way up to the 14th fret. So you can work different positions on the fretboard. Um, and you can work it at whatever speed you want. The other thing you can do is press the Cosm button, and that lets you scroll through all the possible sounds. Remember, on your guitar, if you turn the volume down for any sound you're playing, you're going to get a cleaner sound. So as you turn the volume down, you can make even the most distorted sounds nice and clean. And if you need, you can just turn the recording volume. Remember, there's a recording volume to uh, adjust... Yeah, recording level on the right side to adjust the volume of your guitar and on the right hand side there's a total output level so you can record adjust the volume of the recording make sure on the back that you're switched to the uh, guitar input okay yep. not the mic input because otherwise you'll use the sound of the yeah so the way you want to practice what we're just trying to get away from is 